you have some toxic tendencies, you need some healing, you probably have some unresolved trauma. At the very least, you have some people pleasing tendencies that lead you to try to control people, manipulate the situation, be liked. The answer to stop attracting narcissists is to first evaluate yourself. Now, you will find the information on my channel to be clear, consistent, and based on research, case studies, my personal experience. There is no woman that hasn't done what Miss Rebecca Norwood has outlined in her chapters. Even if you have not read this book, Women Who Love Too Much, the information in here is what you have to apply to your life in order to change it and experience the love of your life, the love of a lifetime. It's there for you, but you definitely have to do some certain things differently. Step one, get out of denial and admit that you have a problem. This is harder than you would think because under this video are going to be a whole bunch of comments about how I'm not the problem. He found me. He was just trying to see how strong I was. He was trying to test me. Okay. If that has been working for you, keep thinking like that. But in my experience, the women who change, get married and have loving and healthy relationships, acknowledge that they are the problem. It's me. Yes, I'm the pro Yes, girl, I was part of the problem. I'm not saying that what happened to you was deserved or that, you know, it's your fault. I'm saying that you played a part in it. And in order for things to change, you have to get out of denial. You have to stop blaming other people. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done that differently. It's the hardest step. It's literally one of the hardest steps in you know spirituality in general is acknowledging you can be better, you can do things differently, that it's your right to evolve and have abundance. Like there needs to be a click or you already, already knew, which is not most people, or that you hear something and you're like, ah, okay, <laughs> I get it. I, I get it. And maybe by the time you finish this video, you will have gotten it, if you're still here, that you have to deal with you. Uh, but men can experience a woman who is abusive towards him and same-sex couples can also experience the same thing of abusive, toxic relationships with people who have narcissistic personality or not, or traits, who knows? I don't diagnose people with narcissistic personality disorder via the internet. That's not my training. I am super ethical. I just realized I haven't introduced myself. My name is Dr. Sharitz. I help black men and women heal from trauma and toxic relationships. This is literally what I do. I have a personal experience of this on my channel. Three, maybe three videos of the process, but I often reference the book, Women Who Love Too Much, because it changed my life and I think it could change yours. Step two. Look around your life and document your patterns of relationship. I want you to be honest with yourself. Guy A, guy B, guy C. That time you went on two dates with that one guy there, what did they have in common? I do want you to pay particular attention to people who last longer than two weeks, two months, uh, whatever might be long term to you. Because some people have only been in a relationship for like three months. So that's like your longest relationship. Any relationship can give us some information about you. I want you to ask yourself how you felt emotionally in each of those relationships. And I want you to describe the guy in those relationships. What are the patterns? What are the commonalities? What are the things that stand out to you? Were you cheated on in all of them? Were you abused in all of them? What is it? You're just gathering information at this point. Step three is take accountability for your role in it being a toxic and or abusive relationship. All abusive relationships are toxic. Not all toxic relationships are abusive. I'm not encouraging any victim blaming here, but there is a level of accountability that has to take place. Both people are toxic in the relationship. What is your percentage? If you want to give it a percentage, you don't have to give it a percentage. You just need to acknowledge what it is that you did. Was it the time he disrespected one of your boundaries and you gave in? That's you. You gave in. Was it a time when he lied and cheated on you and you took him back without him making any clear efforts to change or improve his behavior or address whatever the issue was that was in your relationship? Whatever it is, I want you to point out what did you do? This is not a blame session here. He does have his stuff. But anytime you prioritize what's happening in somebody else's life, you are distracting from the ways in which you can improve your own. Focus on yourself. 
Step four is read the book Women Who Love Too Much by Robin Norwood. I have not found a book that's better. I actually have stopped looking. I recommend this book to everyone that I know, every one of my clients who is in an abusive relationship or who engages in the toxic patterns of trying to control other people and they're in a toxic relationship. So there are other books on codependency. I do like Codependent No More, but this, I mean, Women Who Love Too Much takes it to another level because we're specifically addressing the toxicity of the relationship and how you have contributed to the dance, the toxic dance that happens, the cycles that occur in these toxic, abusive relationships. Find other videos about this topic on my channel because I did one on Celeste and Perry from um, Big Little Lies, one of those shows, and one of the best depictions on abusive relationships because you clearly get to see what the woman is doing that contributes to this continuing. And step five, the last step I'm going to talk about today is about actually doing the action things differently that you need to in your life. This is going to vary per, per woman, per person, but generally speaking, you have to figure out what are your needs, are your needs getting met, how can you prioritize your needs? You like to put other people in front of you, my kids, my friend, my man, all these things. You need to learn to prioritize yourself. Prioritizing yourself might mean booking a session with a therapist or changing your therapy goals or, you know, focusing on something different in your life. One of the big things you will be having to practice is learning not to manage and control other people's behavior. Why there is this manipulative component to women who love too much is because they want things to be a certain way. They want their partnership to be a certain way. And so they go out of their way to try to control people, do little things. And it's not usually a direct thing. It's a very passive, passive aggressive way of communicating, of asking for something because you're looking for this person outside of you to meet your needs when you need to focus on meeting your needs. Once you focus on yourself, you will realize that there were so many blind spots for other areas of your life that you have not been paying attention to. First of all, a toxic relationship can inhibit your physical health, your spiritual health, your financial health. And once that becomes less of your focus, you will realize all the different areas that you can improve. You'll be getting promotions. You'll be closer to God. Right? You'll develop a spiritual practice that you can be consistent with. You will find that oh, the veil has been lifted on so many other areas because you have been obsessed with this man. When you need to be obsessed with yourself, girl, you need to be obsessed with you. And so that is my recommendation for how to stop attracting narcissists. Deal with your self. Let me know. I know some people are already let me know. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. This is the kind of content that I do, you know, quite regularly. Share this video. Please share the video with somebody that you think it may help. And thank you for watching.